Alrighty guys, what's going on? So welcome to July's clip of the month there. This should be a really exciting video. It's also going to be a really, really long one, so definitely stick around. Anyways guys, coming in here, we got Phoenix. It's a really nice, was that a floater or just a shot in general? I'm not completely sure. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I'm kind of not concentrating there, but he does some crazy shit. He hits a boat bang. Okay, is that a floater? No, I don't think it was a float. I think he was falling through. Anyways, next clip here, we got distance. Check it out. He kind of stuffs up his shot and then kind of accidentally shoots someone. But it's kind of cool that he did that because then he picks off the second kill here. That was crazy. And it's with the Pokeball as well, which makes it like 10 times better because Pokeball shots look so, so clean. And you never see anyone really use it on Black Ops 2. Anyways, we got Azza. He is playing some Advanced Warfare. And I believe that was a two-piece from memory right there. I kind of wasn't concentrating at the start. But that's a really clean, beautiful shot. You don't really see the spike, uh, the spike ball. Is that a spike ball? You don't see the spike ball too often, so that's pretty cool. Good shit, Azza. Alrighty, Modern Warfare 3, we got Azza. Sorry, I mean Azza. <laughs> we got Hologram. Check it out across the map. I've actually recorded an online Modern Warfare 3 out of map video from this particular spot. And that video is like on 10k views right now because Wyski hit this crazy, crazy wall bang cross map. Anyways, next clip, we got Zyzo. He hits a freaking quad feed. Donga, imagine if he got the reload, that clip would have been 10 out of 10, but because he didn't get the reload, it's not quite so clean, but still, nevertheless, it's a crazy clip. I'm pretty sure this was in, like, Random's top 10, too, so I've seen it in a few top 10s, and the fact that he linked it to me is awesome, so thanks for that, dude. Alrighty, next clip, we got Fury. This clip is crazy. Advanced Warfare, Cross Map, Donger. By the way, fellas, you guys know how my Clip of the Month series go. If you guys hear a ding or, a, you know, some, some form of sound effect in, in your clip right when you shoot, that means you will be featuring in the top 10. Although, this episode, I don't think it is a top 10. I think it's like a top 19 from memory because there were so many clips I just couldn't choose from, so I had to be like that. Anyways, check it out, guys. Silent QK. This guy sent in so many clips this week. Like, it's insane. You guys are going to love it. Like, the amount of dongers he hit is ridiculous. Well, I don't necessarily know if he hit it, like, within, you know, the month. I think what people do, they find my channel, then they link me all their clips that hit, you know, forever, like, since they first started trick showing. I think that's what kind of happens here. Anyways, check it out. Actually, guys, I kind of want to speak to you fellas about something real quick. My Clip of the Month series, what I've been noticing with this series recently, you guys definitely enjoy it. They pull a lot of views. The ratings do very, very well. But the problem with it, I'm getting a ridiculous amount of clips now. And just for me to edit this video, get it all together and do it, it no joke takes days and days. It probably takes like at least 24 hours. And I'll swear I'm not joking. To get all these clips, name overlay them, download them, it just it takes forever. And then to commentate it, render it, and my upload speed is shocking. So when I upload it, it literally takes like 10 hours to upload. It's terrible. But yeah, check it out, guys. Silent QK is insane. So I might start doing a top 50. So that means, obviously, I won't use as many clips, and the clips themselves will still be insane. Alrighty, check it out, guys. we still got Silent QK. And I believe this clip... Yes, this one here. This is featuring the top 10, top 20, whatever I did. I can't really remember. But he did a reverse kind of billing type of trick shot on Turbine. Kind of what I recorded for the other day. And just build a bot across the world. Like, it's such a sick shot. You guys need to actually check where the red dot was when he built. Like, that's unset up too. Crazy, dude. Right, check it out. Maka, he like jumps off the ground. I've never seen anyone trick shot off the ground on Advanced Warfare. But he's out of the map on a map. I don't have a clue what it is. But that map looks really, really sick. My nose is so congested and blocked today. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, guys, check it out. We got Maka again. Now, he's featuring the top 10 or top 20, whatever it is, because that clip was so beautiful. Like, Advanced Warfare Zombies trick training. I don't see it very often. That's my first ever time that's been linked to me. And that looks sick. It looks like tons of fun. I kind of want to do it too, but I haven't got Advanced Warfare on the next-gen console. That's a problem. I only got it on PS3. And on PS3, it's so freaking glitchy. Anyways, check it out. We got Drax here. You guys know Drax. He featured in my past two clips in the month series, and he's always featured in the top 10 or top 20 as well, because he just hits ridiculous, ridiculous non-setup clips. They're honestly so, so clean. Alrighty. Yeah, sorry, I've got to keep wiping my nose. It keeps running and all this bullshit. Alright, Rosh. Dude, this clip is in the top 10, top 20. Like, that clip was so beautiful. I don't know what it is, but the way that looked is so clean. By the way, guys, you fellas may know, I'm, I do have a lot of new subscribers from my previous Clip of the Month series, but I basically placed the top 10 based off my personal enjoyment, not exactly how good the clip is. Like, this clip here, for example, it isn't in the top 10. I don't know, I just didn't find it super clean because, like, you kind of shot and then face the other way. I don't know, it just, it doesn't look that clean. So, yeah, I just based clips off how clean it looks to me and how enjoying it is to watch. This clip's insane. I've never seen anyone hit from there, although two people this week actually linked me clips from this exact spot. And I've never seen it before. It's like some wall bang, 
It's a 1440 Sui on Vertigo from the middle of the map. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Check it out, guys. I've got a clean shave, too. I look like a baby. I hate clean shaving. I haven't shaved for so long, because post-surgery, it was like two weeks post-surgery till I decided to shave. <laughs> Anyways, Gebos. This is a really nice shot. I think that was on one dummy as well. And I'm not sure if the dummy was setting up or running around. I'm not too sure, but that was really nice. Really distance, too. Right, this guy's got a really weird name, but he sent me a few clips this month. Check it out. It's kind of a bit laggy on my computer. I'm kind of looking over here because that's a monitor my um, my gameplay is actually on. So that's why it's a... Yeah. And it might, maybe my commentary may be a little delayed to the clips itself. But only by like half a second. I don't know if you guys can notice it. But check it out guys. Sonic QK hits a freaking unset up free for all online donger on Black Ops 1. That was sick. I'd never see, you know, non set up online dongers on Black Ops 1 anymore. So that was pretty sick. Alright, here's another Black Ops 1 shot on a map I've never seen. I really like that clip. That was so nice. It just complete smack the bot. I really want to do unset up trick shotting like on bots on, on BO1. But the problem is, like, it, they just kill you. You can't disable their weapons. They're all beasts. Like, they're, it's not like Black Ops 2 or anything. It's kind of like ghosts. The ghost bots and the Black Ops 1 bots are just complete animals. But check it out, guys. QK is coming in hot. He's just hitting billers left, right, and center. And I believe he's got a few names. He's got Silent QK, Marksman, and Vex, I think. So if you see any of those three, they're all Silent QK. Because, um, yeah, I don't know why he changes his name. But anyways, check this out. I really want to do this. I want to hit this, but in a floaters video. Like, hit it from this glitch spot floater. It's such a beautiful shot. I think he forgot to disable resample, too, when he rendered this video. Because it's kind of fuzzy when he spins. You notice it goes all ghosty a little bit, but check it out. That is so beautiful. He was originally in the top 10, I think, but then I took him out. All right, Phoenix. Oh, this clip's insane, guys. So he's doing floaters, but he's doing this knife glitch that people do in Modern Warfare 2 and shit. That's kind of why he was following the bot there. So he follows the bot so he can do this thing. I don't understand how you do it, and the fact that he randomly hit it, trust me, it's a legit clip. It's no aimbot, no bullshit. This is like 100% legit. It's sick, and he's featuring in the top 10 for this because it's so creative. I've never seen anyone do this on a floaters before. I really wish I could do it, to be honest. I really do. Like, it would be so awesome. All right, we got QK again. Now, I don't really place the uh, boat bangs in the top 10s because it is very difficult to tell if it's actually a legit clip. Like, you really can't tell unless they show you tons of attempts beforehand. Alrighty, guys, check it out. We got Drax. This is a really nice shot, so it's kind of like a delayed two-piece. And it's so beautiful with the reload and everything. I just wish, like, when you hit, you didn't suicide still. Because su the point of a suicide that makes a suicide look so, so clean, like, when you hit, like, right now, you don't die. You just keep falling. That's what makes it so sick. But the fact that you die after the suicide, it's kind of annoying me. And that was a Black Ops 3 clip, too. By the way, guys, I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 3 lately. Like, last night, I was actually grinding Black Ops 3 for, like, two and a half hours straight just online on the new Descent DLC map packs in S and D and I was actually finding it so enjoyable. We're actually in a sick party. Like we'll get in the last like every single round. It was so much fun. I was actually getting attempts and it was sick. So I definitely want to start playing some more online Black Ops 3. But don't don't expect any shots from me because it's just impossible to hit on that game. Like to actually get an attempt is what's really hard because you never know where the enemy's gonna be by the time you hover in the air for 10 seconds then shoot. He could be on the other side of the map by then. Anyways guys Hoffy did place earlier with that Modern Warfare 3 clip you guys would have seen. Hoffy always features. The kid's insane. Alright, and then I can't remember. More silent QK. This kid just keeps submitting clip after clip after clip. Bang! I really like that clip. That's so clean. Over the train. Cross map. Freaking smoker. That was beautiful, guys. My nose won't keep... I mean, my nose won't stop running. It's kind of pissing me off. Yeah, but the whole idea to these videos, guys, is this how chilled, like, I'm doing a commentary for so long that I can't be hyped the whole time. Because then by the end of it, you're just literally out of breath. But anyways, QK hits a sick-ass right shield bounce floater on Magma. And you guys never see floaters on Magma. I hit one the other day in a floaters video, and it was so sick. In the middle of my intro as well, it was so distant and clean as well. It was so beautiful. Anyways, Silent QK, like, he's hitting the most random shots. I swear in all his shots, I never have a clue where the enemy is. But they're all insane, dude. Seems like he likes to play studio too. A lot of studio clips. But like I said, guys, my next clips of the month, they're always going to be top 50s for now on. Maybe a top 25, I don't know. Depends how high I want my standards. You know, if I want them ridiculously high, it's going to be a top 25. Otherwise, it'll be a top 50. Anyways, Link Sapphire hits a freaking COD 2 trick shot, I believe, or COD 3, maybe. I don't know. That was insane, dude. I love some COD 2 footage. I might even buy the game trick shot, I don't even know. But anyways, check it out here. We've got this car bloke. Hits a collateral spawn shot. Kind of delayed spawn shot, but ridiculously random and so sick. 
Right, GMR, his brightness is ridiculously high. GMR, dude, you've linked me a few clips, and yeah, you really need to turn your brightness down in your Elgato settings. Like, it's way too high. Like, the sky's supposed to be blue, but on your clip, it's freaking white. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we got GMR again. Oh, by the way, guys, sorry if I don't play some of your clips. You may know, like, I did get some insane clips sent to me, but for some reason, after I download the video off YouTube, your quality is shocking. I think it's probably so bad because when you've rendered the video, you've used some shit-ass settings. Like, when you try and render your video, maybe search up on YouTube some settings to make it better. But anyways, check it out. We got Brayson. This clip's clean. This would have definitely 100% featured in the top 10 because it's so creative. Double hybrid. But look, he's playing Span for so long here. That's kind of the reason I didn't place in the top 10 because he did so much. Then just at the end of the clip, he kind of got lazy there and gave up. <laughs> Anyways, we got Gebo. This is creative. So I think I showed you guys an attempt beforehand just to show it's legit. It's no aimbot stuff. A mod of, my mod has actually hosted this for me before, but I wasn't a big fan of it. I'm not really a fan of the bouncers. I don't know what it is. But yeah, he's doing some bounce glitch. He's out of the map. And yeah, this is a legit guy. So he just got bots running around in the in the map. And then yeah, he just dongs. He showed me like six attempts beforehand as well. Anyways, check it out. We got Rez. This is in the top 10. You guys are about to see why. Bang, it's so clean, non set up across the world. Like, that is so distance, non set up. You do see shots like that, but it's always like set up shots or it's online 29, I guess, free for all lobbies and shit like that. But this is just straight up donged it for last on bots. It's so sick. Headshot across the map. That sound of a headshot is so sick, even though you guys can't hear that noise. But, anyways, guys, check it out. We got Clutch on Black Ops 2. This guy seemed to me clips before. He always does that effect, that kind of bubble, kind of sonic wave type effect. He like edits in himself and then he always fades the clip out here at the end as well, but I cut it off before it gets faded out. Anyways, we got Hoffy. Now this clip is hell clean. I just love that clip. I love assault rifle trick shooting. Like I don't know what it is, but it just looks so beautiful. And I've actually been playing a lot of hardcore S and D lately on Black Ops 2. We've been going for an assault rifle trick shots, pistol trick shots. It's so much fun. Like it, I don't know. It just feels creative and awesome. It's just better than using a sniper, in my opinion. But check this out. This is in the top 10, top 20, whatever. You, I think it is a top 19 from memory. <laughs> but anyways, Drax hits a freaking knack. I think yeah, right. No, it wasn't. It's was a cockback knack. So that was crazy, non setup. Brayson. Now, this clip's in the top 10. I just love this clip. That's the first and only, I think, money knack that I've ever been submitted on Black Ops 3. Like, you money knack with this new shotgun. It's so sick. I want to get the shotgun so bad. I want to trick shot with it, or at least just go for sick combos. Like, I want to do some money knack combos like I always do in Black Ops 2. That would be so clean. Yeah, this clip, guys, I shouldn't have used because the quality's pretty shit. Like, Obviously, he hasn't disabled resample as he's spinning, everything's blurry. If you don't know what disable resample is, basically, when you put a clip in Sony Vegas, the frames are slower than... Oh, it's, oh, oh, I'm not good at technology, I can't complain it. But basically, if you don't disable resample, when you spin, everything's fuzzy and shit like that. All right, here we go. Tyler, spawn shot on Nuketown. That looks so clean. And whatever knife he was using, that looked freaking beautiful. All right, we got Toe Jam. Toe Jam and L. I used to have a game called Toe Jam and L, and I freaking loved it. Wish I could make YouTube videos on it now, but it's on the old Xbox, so it'd be pretty shit quality, but check that out. It's an online shot. It was pretty nifty, but I don't know. Advanced Warfare online shots don't look that clean, because I love Advanced Warfare shots where you get the reload, so I think the guns where you can get the reloads, the links. There is another one, but you've got to unlock it. Not many people have it, but to get the reload, the links, the damage is so low that you'll never get a one-shot kill online, so you only see in private match. <laughs> but anyways, check it out, guys. We've got Fury. Bang, that's so clean. Last month, someone actually linked me that clip. But this one may have been a little bit better just because the quality was better. The guy that linked it the previous month, the quality was terrible. I checked this clip out, guys. The quality is terrible, but nevertheless, it was a crazy clip. I kind of had to use it. I don't understand why he didn't push the reload button. But still, it was sick. It was on Ghost. I really want to do some COD Ghost trick shotting, but it's just so hard to get six minutes and shit. Right, check this out. Hoffy, that is so clean. So I'm pretty sure with that wall bank, there's only like a certain spot you can shoot through. And he managed to hit this unset up on bots. Like, do you know how hard that would be to hit? See, I think you guys really got to appreciate the clips here. Because some clips, like this for example, unset up. Like, do you understand how hard this would be to hit? Like, to get the can swap every attempt. And then to hit that, like he does some, did he double can swap it? I don't even know what he did. No, he just did a noob tube, then he can swapped afterwards. I don't even know how to do that glitch. And like everyone does it, but I've never bothered asking how. And I really wish I knew how to do it because it looks so awesome. But nevertheless, we got Cole, Tin, KJK or some shit. It's an unset up free for all freaking smoker. 
Oh, you know what? You know what, guys? I think the carrier clips... I don't think you'll really see any carrier clips in my top 10. I don't know what it is with carrier, but I'm just sick of a 1440. Like, uh, if I see a thumbnail in my sub box with the 1440, you know, someone saying, I hit the 1440 silly carrier, I just don't bother watching it. I just don't find it enjoyable anymore. But check this clip out, guys, by Hoffy. This is insane. This is definitely in the top 10 or top 20. Like, really, just look closely where he built. He built a kid over the whole entire world. Like, he built over the wall. Check it out. Like, you got to pause it just before it shoots. Look on the radar. There is no one in front of him. He built a kid over the wall. I've never seen that done before. Unset up as well. That's just nuts. Anyways, we've got Hoffy again. He's featuring. This kid's insane. Check this shot out. This is unset up as well. And the way he pulled out his um, tactical insertion makes it so, so clean. Because I hate the moors. Like, when you shoot and all it does is cock back. It's so boring. So, by adding creative stuff like that, it's what makes the clip 10 out of 10. All right, links are fine. In my future episodes, I won't be using clips this bad quality, but the clip itself was so sick, I kind of had to throw it in here. Like, check it out. 720 can swap with the reload, no overspin, nothing. It was just cleaner than a bean. That clip is no joke. Like, it's like a 10 out of 10. It was so beautiful. All right, we got Napsy. Now, this clip's pretty sick. I just threw it in here, but the problem is there's no kill cam. Now, don't link me clips, guys, if there is no kill cam, because I don't use them. But I don't know what it was with this clip. The way you threw two stun grenades was so clean and so sick. I love that type of shit. You never see it. All right, we got this clip, Preb. This was like the Moninac type of combo, but, well, from a similar spot. I don't know what it is with this spot, but it looks so nice. Like, the way you just shoot over this wall and just, oh, yeah. I used to hate wall running on Black Ops 3, but recently I've been liking it because it's what makes you creative. You can go for some really sick, sick spots. All right, we got Hologram. What's he going to do? Oh, the pistol trick shot. That's right. That was sick. The other day in one of my lobbies, a bloke called Asto, he's featured in two of my uploads. You guys have probably seen him. He's in my kick for trick shotting video and my post-surgery knack off. Asto actually hit a hardcore SND donger. It was hell clean as well, but sadly, he didn't get the reload, but it was sick. <laughs> Anyways, we got Napsy across the world. Why are some of these clips, like, the quality so bad? I don't know if you guys see it here, but there's something weird about the quality and the colors. Like... I think people just put weird ass render settings on or the settings themselves on the Elgato are just weird Like you know how when you put it on 720p on the Elgato, there's that bar you can scroll it up all the way to best I don't think people put it to best. I think it's like halfway through I don't know because it's weird like all these clips are 720p basically But then you get some quality that is way better than other clips. I just don't understand but Napsy man You are going off all right, we got question mark. Now, you guys know there's always a few names of people that I forget and I don't really know <laughs> because when I download the clips, I, obviously he's doing floaters, so he's changed his name, so I don't know his name. But this time I was writing their names down on notepads so I could tell what their name is. So in future, I could obviously put their name there. But with that question mark one, for some reason, I completely forgot to do it. So I'm sorry, dude, honestly. But anyways, we got Hoffy coming up here on Modern Warfare 3. So I've definitely improved from my previous episodes because I believe he is the only guy out of all these clips I don't know the name to. But everyone else has I got. All right, this clip's weird. I don't understand this. He hit, but no rounds were won. He just hits and that's like the end of it. I don't know. It's a really weird clip. By the way, guys, that item I've been high hyping up that's getting shipped to my house, like, you know how it's kind of saying I'm doing a new series and shit like that? Well, that item is getting shipped today. So I told my sister I'm doing a 34 minute commentary or even longer, maybe 35, 36 minutes. So I told her, if the postman pack comes whilst doing this commentary, can you please answer the door, sign it and get it. <laughs> Anyways, check it out. We got Magsy. He's hybrid knacking like an animal. Now this clip was originally in the top 19, but I took it out because he playing spins at the end. But I love this clip. Hybrid knack. Oh, hybrid knacks on Black Ops 3 looks so, so clean. Like they just look so much cleaner than on Black Ops 2. But the problem was he playing spins at the and I swear everyone that goes for hybrid knacks or tinny knacks, they always plane spin. Like, they do so much shit, they get the knack. Then after the knack, they do nothing. Only if you could add something to it, the clip would be 10 out of 10. Anyways, we've got Clutch. He's coming in with these weird-ass effects. But I kind of like him doing these effects because, you know, it's easier for me. I don't have to bother cutting it and fading it and shit like that. Like, I literally just throw it in there. That's the end of it. But, yeah, check it out, guys. Clutch, man, you're insane. That was so clean. This clip's insane. Bang, hell distance over the wall. I can never jump out of this window. I don't understand how people do it. Like, every time I try and jump out of that window, fellas, I promise you I can't do it. Right, this clip's in the top 10. This is so beautiful. The clip itself is so clean, and he got the reload, and he actually built the kids down the thing. I don't know what you call it. I don't really play this game often, but he built kids down that hole. Like, if you kind of look at the minimap when he shoots, there's no one around. They're all down there, and he freaking managed to build it unset up. That was so sick. 
Alright, we got rest. This clip's pretty clean. Oh my god, my nose is starting to hurt. Alright, we're just over halfway through this commentary. Come on, Inky. You can do it. Shit. Alright, I thought there was only one kid's name I didn't know. Apparently it's two. Damn it, I actually tweeted about that. I'm like, who's the kid? <laughs> tweeted, like, who's the kid that hit the, hit the Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops trick shot but no one ever replied, so he obviously doesn't follow my Twitter. But anyways, it is what it is, you know. We can't be perfect in this world. Alright, we got some weird-ass name. Here's a boat bang. Good shit, dude. Alright. Oh, my monitor went to sleep. It always happens in the middle of the video. You know, I'm going to learn from my mistakes. I'll learn to get everyone's name correct, and I'll learn to touch the mouse every, like, five minutes so my monitor doesn't fall asleep in the middle of commentating. But check this clip out. Heaps of people have linked me this previously in, you know, other episodes and shit like that, but it's always capture the flag bullshit. This was unset up. It was so distant. The kid was on top of the thing where you trick shot out of. Like, it was so distant and so clean. That was nice, dude. Good freaking shit. The reason that's not the top 19 is because I think Skyjack looks so ugly. That's the only reason. But check this out. Bang. He freaking does a money... No, not money knack. A cockback knack. This is like Drax's clip from earlier. They're like the exact same. Both really, really clean clips. Beautiful clips. Good shit, guys. All right, we got Brayson here. What's he gonna do? Brayson linked me a lot of clips, actually. I just realized he's featuring a shit ton. Bang, unset up, wall bang, there we go. I just don't like suicides on this game. If you're going to suicide on Black Ops 3, you're probably not going to feature it in the top 19, just because it just, I don't know, it takes away the specialty of the clip. Look, you just die when we're looking at the floor. I don't know, there's just something about it. Right, this clip's so nice. Oh yeah, floater, it's such a nice clip too. So he had to empty all his bullets out every time he went for an attempt. So this guy, you know, deserves some credit. Check it out. That is such a nice floater. I don't know what it is. I reckon 1080 Raid Sui floaters is like the easiest floater to hit. Like, I swear to God, guys. Every time I play Raid and do a floaters episode, I always hit so ridiculously quickly. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just lucky on Raid, although I've only hit one Raid Sui in my life, and it was freaking ugly as hell. But it was all the way to the bomb site, so it was hell distance. But anyway, check it out. We got Fury over the wall. I think a few people linked me this 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 month, but I only chose to use a few of them. I didn't want to use every single one, because then you guys are watching the exact same thing over and over again. Yeah, guys, this is my first commentary um, with a straight set then, which is pretty cool, because normally you guys know I always got to take a break because I can't breathe properly, but I can currently breathe through my nose properly. Well, not completely properly. It's still kind of swollen inside, so it's still a little blocked, but I can definitely breathe better at the moment than what I could pre-surgery, and it feels awesome. This clip, he reload Nax. Very interesting clip. This is legit. No setup bullshit. This kid literally showed me like 10 minutes of footage. But uh, yeah, he had a reload knack. He kind of stopped and stared. He got a bit excited once he got the reload knack, which kind of ruined it. But nevertheless, it was still sick. Drax, this would be in the top 19, but you got to show me more attempts, dude. You can't just straight up show me the titty knack, you know, unset up boat bang. Like, how am I supposed to know this is legit? You know, it's pretty hard to believe. But if it is, it's insane, man. Alright, we got Drax coming up again. Oh, Turbine. Hit a Turbine Donger. You guys don't understand how hard it is to hit an unset up with only 9 bots. You can only spawn 9 bots in on Black Ops 2 on Turbine. Like an unset up with 9 bots Donger on Turbine. It's literally impossible. I've tried it so many times for floaters episodes and shit like that. I can never do it. I can't. I've hit one floater on it in my life, and it was a freaking 720 fakey pistol switch. But it was still a really nice clean shot. Anyways, Clutch. Bringing in those effects. Alright, this clip's pretty nice. Freak, the dogs are barking, god damn it. Yeah, this clip here is nice. So he's just standing here, looking at the minimap, waiting for the enemy to come down, and then bang. The only problem is, I don't know, there's no problem with it. I guess, and I guess some form of criticism I could give here. The enemy was a little close, but let's be honest, that's not EB's fault or whatever his name is. Anyways, check it out. Fury, you're in the top 19, dude. This is insane. That NA45 knife kind of cancel, where you knife and then just, you know, do a stun cancel or something. It looks so beautiful with the NA45. It does some cool as animation. I used to always go for that kind of similar shot online. Never hit it, because Advanced Warfare is impossible to hit on. Hoffy, this spot, guys, is so hard to hit from. And the fact that he hit it non-setup, it blows my mind. Like, that spot is ridiculously hard to hit from. That's so clean. Oh, I've got check this clip out. I've got nothing to say. What? How? How do people do this? See, the thing I love about Black Ops 3 clips, you know it's not, you know, fake or anything like that. Because obviously you can't get aimbot or anything on it yet. 
So you just know it's legit. I love it. That's insane, dude. That's honestly insane. All right, this clip, it wasn't that insane, but it was the only campaign shot I got submitted, and I love campaign shots. That was so nice. I actually hit the dopest shot from there too once in a campaign trick shotting video. I really want to do those again, but I've kind of gone through all the maps, and once you've gone through all the maps, there's no point doing it again, because then it's just boring, but God, it was fun when I was doing it, and that's how Random kind of found my channel too, like, Random loved those episodes, he used to comment on them and everything, it was so sick, and they were just so good, and I got the idea from Random himself, and then yeah, my channel kind of didn't blow up, but it definitely grew a lot more, but check this clip, clip out by Prep, Hybrid Knack, non-setup, this clip's so clean, it's in the top 19, he threw something I've never seen before, but check how clean that is. And he didn't plain spin after his knack like everyone does. He added in that stun grenade cancel, and he may have double tapped, I'm not completely sure. Oh, this clip. This clip, guys. Frick. Look at the kill feed. Look at the kill feed. He got a freaking collateral. How? When he only needed one kill to get to last. Well, guys, he billed his teammate. Check it out. His teammate's there. See his teammate? He smacked his teammate. Because what he would have done, he would have had friendly fire on. So he smacked his teammate and got the enemy behind him. That clip's definitely in the top 19. That was freaking insane. Alright, check this out. This is a non-setup Black Ops 1 smoker. Because just before he went for the shot, the enemy killed one of his teammates. So it's obviously non-setup. And yeah, it's just a Black Ops 1 freaking online floater. This was in the top 10, I think, or top 19. Then I took it out. Because the clips that are in the top 19 are just insane. So I don't know how... People are supposed to top it off. Like, this is in the top 19. Reload knack with the can swap, with the reload. So clean. You got the reload too without sleight of hand, which makes it 10 out of 10. Like, you guys don't understand how hard that is to hit. Like, 1440, 1800, I don't know what he did. Because you don't have tax on ghosts. So every time he goes for a shot, you got to, you know, go get the freaking can swap again. Spawning Narnia, run back. Like, it's impossible to hit from. That's why you never see anyone hit from that spot. Oh, God. That was insane. Hoffy. Good shit, dude. I'm just a bit bored of um, Modern Warfare 3 Resistance clips because you see it 20 million times a day. I feel like COD, COD videos in general or COD clips in general are getting quite boring because we've all seen it so much. The, the, the clips I'm really interested in at the moment, I don't know what it is. It is Black Ops 3. Like, I'm, I'm in love with Black Ops 3. I don't know what it is. Just recently, I'm really beginning to like it. I'm really beginning to appreciate it. It definitely has massive potential for the whole community to come back, but I don't know. People don't give it a go. I think... It's just getting to last and getting attempts is what's impossible. Now, Rez's clip here, this would be in the top 15 or 19, whatever it is, but someone last month featured in the top 19 for that, so I wanted to use something different. Anyways, check this out by Hoppy. He does a reload, a reload knack with the RPG. He does some, I think it's called a reload knack. I don't know what you want to call it with the RPG, but that was sick. He kind of lands, that's the only problem. But yeah, here's another over-the-wall shot. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, Black Ops 3 has so much potential. It's just... It's a really nice game, like it really is, it's fun, it's just getting to last, but after playing last night with the party I was in, we are getting to last every single round, and getting attempts, like we all beast it, I think you all got to rush, you got to get like two on the left, two go mid, two go right, oh guys, check this clip out by Hoppy, this is insane, I don't know how much you guys can appreciate this clip, I just wish the quality was better, but guys, to hit that non-setup, to get the enemies or the bots right on the edge is near impossible. You can't do it. And he did a 1440 or an 1800, and it was clean. He, like, constantly did shit during the shot. That clip was honestly insane, Hoffy. That's featuring the top 19. Good shit. Anyways, Silent QK. This kid just randomly hits dongers, and you never see the enemy. Like, check this out. It's like some random-ass wallbang thing again. I don't know. All right, I'm running out of breath now. It's getting a bit tiring. <laughs> QK, really nice shot, dude. XPR dongers look so beautiful. It was a window shot. He didn't really do much in it, though. But nevertheless, it was still clean. I remember when we all used to hit the window shot. Or when, when we first started going for it, like, no one would do anything. And I think, like, Zymzy was the first person to do, like, you know, a double insta swap out of the window shot. Um, out of the window, sorry. And, yeah, we all thought it was insane. Now everyone just knows how to do it. All right, Levstar. He's forgotten to disable resample. Like I said, if I do a top 50 or a top 25 for my next episode, I wouldn't put this clip in just because the quality is not, uh, you know, it's not really that cool. But the reason I threw it in here, I don't know, I just found it cool. His first attempt, he made it look so easy. <laughs> it's funny, guys. I don't know if you guys have seen my video a really long time ago. It's only on like 500 views, so a lot of you guys probably haven't. But basically, my first ever, no joke, guys, my first ever online free-for-all Tomahawk Donger attempt ever in my life, I hit. 
Like, I kid you not, the videos on my channel, like, I thought, you know, one game, why don't I put a Tomahawk on? Because I used to always watch FaZe Carl's videos back then. He was always hitting these cross-map Tomahawks. I thought, why don't I put one on and go for my attempt? My first attempt, I go for one, I push the wrong button, I go to pull out my black hat, throw my black hat, which you can't do. But then my next attempt, I actually threw the Tomahawk and I build. First ever attempt. It's insane. Check this shot out, guys. It's so nice. He ladder stalls. So clean. Oh, if that was a floater phoenix, I probably would have featured that in the top 19. But the reason I didn't feature it is because it's studio. Like, Shio clips are just boring to watch. You see it a million times. You see it all the time. But nevertheless, that was still crazy. All right, check this clip out. This is in the top 19. It's, it's, I understand it's nothing insane, but it's just so clean. When I saw this clip, look how beautiful that looks. Everything, everything just worked out so perfectly. It was timed so perfectly. There was no overspin whatsoever. It was with the SVU, with the reload. The reload animation looks so sick. The double tap looks so sick. It was kind of distance as well. That clip was sick. Oh, this clip's sick. I think I put this in the top 19, but I took it out. He did a high, I mean, a titty knack, but he didn't play in spin after it. He actually did a double tap. It looked like he had so much control of that clip, and that's what made it so sick. Like, he just, he just knows what's going on. He knew. He was confident. He was like, yep, I'm getting the titty knack. He was prepared for it. It wasn't one of those things like, am I going to get it? Oh, I got it. Slow my spin down. Stop doing shit. <laughs> Nevertheless, guys, if you do happen a titty knack, no matter what you're doing, it's always going to be insane. I've never hit one in my life. Like, I don't understand how people can hit it unset up. Oh, we got another titty knack. See, that guy playing spam, he got scared. He didn't expect that he was going to get it. <laughs> Good shit, man, though. Like, honestly, like I said, I'll never be able to do it myself. Check this out. This is non-setup. Black Ops 1 donger. Bang. I don't know how he switched so quick. Was that a reload knack? Wait, we got to check this out. How did he switch so quick? It, it must be some form of knack. It must be. I'm kind of... I don't really play Black Ops 1, so I'm not too sure. But it must have been a cockback knack. It must have been some form of knack. Alright, check this out. This clip's crazy, but I can't be, you know, sure if it's 100% legit. He did show me a few attempts beforehand, but still hasn't quite, you know, got my attention. So he basically thought he was on last. He went for a bill and he hit. Obviously, he wasn't on last. So then he went for another bill and he managed to hit it again. Hit the exact same shot two times in one game. Boat bang. I don't understand how people do this, but apparently you can do it. Check this clip out. This is in the top 19. Oh. Clean does that look? That's the sniper I was talking about earlier. This sniper and the links is what makes Advanced Warfare sick. Like, the reloads look so clean. The way he did that, no stop and see. He went invisible to the very last second right when he shot. It was beautiful. All right, check this clip out. we got another boat bang. Boat bangs just aren't exciting to watch because you go under the water and it just makes the clip look ugly in my opinion. Like, why do people get the reload? Silent shot it. you got to silent shot it. Look, there's no point get the reload, dude. You hit the water. I swear I'm the only kid that actually goes for silent shot 40 40 boat bangs. <laughs> Anyways, we got re-vertical again. Similar shot to that previous one. This is in the top 19 once again. It's so clean. Look, he goes invisible at the last second. And then, bang, as soon as you shoot, the invisibleness goes away. It's so sick. Imagine if you go invisible, but it like changes the color of your gun or something. That would be so sick. This clip's weird, but it's cool. He's out of the map on... I don't know what this map's called, but I hit my first ever online donger on this map. It was a 360 Semtex cancel, and it was set up, and I freaked the frick out when I hit it. Barrel stuff headshot as well, the L11. This clip's weird. If he got the reload, he would have been the top 19, but the reload's what takes away the cleanness of the clip, because he didn't overspin or anything. It could have been, it had potential, boys and girls. Like, check it out. That's online, in free-for-all. He would have built a kid all the way out the back in spawn. Frick! It just hit my elbow. Alright, Fury. Alright, we got two Furies. I don't know if they're the same Furies, but this month, there's a Fury without the H, and then there's one with the H. So I don't know if they're different Furies, or they're just the same Fury, but he got bored of his name and wanted to change it up a bit. He either added the H or removed the H. I'm not too sure which way it goes. <laughs> but this clip, weird clip. Everyone wants to hit that. I honestly don't know why, because I don't think it looks that good. Like, you literally shoot and hit the ground instantly, but that's just my opinion. All right, check this out. Three piece. Now, this clip had potential as a man. If you didn't look in the air and throw your spoke, spiky ball or whatever the frick it's called, that would have been 10 out of 10, man. But look at that. That made it so ugly. He just looks in the air and shoots it away. What are you doing, dude? Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this month's clip of the month clips. Now, I've still got tons of clips to go through, but I kind of made this video like two or three weeks ago now. I put all the clips together. So if you submitted clips from the previous two to three weeks, you obviously... <clears throat> 
your clips obviously won't be here. They'll be in the next month's one. But anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. So after this commentary here, you guys will see the top 19. We'll chuck some chilled music behind. Should be enjoyable for you guys to watch. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Anyways, guys, the link's in the description. If you guys want to submit clips, please link me unlisted or public. No, public. Yeah, unlisted or public YouTube links. No private or scheduled uploads. I can't view it. Make sure the clips themselves are crazy. Don't link me shit clips. And please make sure the quality is decent. All right, that's it from me, people. Have a great rest of your day. See you later, guys.